Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading week ending Friday 27th. Here's our daily chart for the S&P. I still think it's most likely that we've had a big trend change up here and this is the start of a primary wave C down. This downwards movement subdivides nicely as a 5 and it has impulsive behaviour. In comparison, this upwards movement is very choppy and overlapping and it looks like a reasonably typical second wave correction. Instead of a double zigzag structure, which was invalidated with price movement to a new high above this point, I have found a possible explanation for Friday's invalidation. We may be seeing a single structure for wave 2 black, a single zigzag, where wave A was a leading contracting diagonal. Within a leading diagonal, 1, 3 and 5 subwaves may subdivide either as most commonly zigzags or sometimes impulses. In this instance, 1 is pretty clearly a zigzag, 3 fits best as an impulse and 5 fits best as an impulse. This downwards movement on the hourly chart must be a three-wave structure, it's a B-wave, this movement is a bit ambiguous, and thereafter this upwards movement for the C-wave must subdivide as a five. Within corrections we sometimes, or usually actually, see alternation in some manner between waves A and C. In this instance wave A is a leading diagonal and C is unfolding as an impulse. Two black may not move beyond the start of 1. Our invalidation point is now back to where it was a couple of days ago at 1422.38. When we see movement below the end of B blue here, we can have some pretty strong confirmation that we've had a trend change. Movement below 1329.24 will give us that confirmation and then we can calculate targets for downwards movement. So I've redrawn this channel using Elliott's technique around a correction with the B wave ending here, this is where the first trend line is drawn. Instead of leaving the upper copy on the high of A, I've pushed it out to fully and contain this upwards movement. C blue should probably end around the upper edge or within this parallel channel. It should find some pretty strong resistance there if it gets that high. Let's have a look at this structure on the hourly chart where the low for B blue down here is this point down here. So far the upwards movement is quite impulsive. So within C we have one, two and a long extended third wave which is pretty typical to see a third wave extend. Within three we have one, two, three, four and the fifth wave still incomplete. There's no Fibonacci ratio between waves one and three green so we're more likely to see a Fibonacci ratio between wave 5 and either 1 or 3. And at 1393, 5 green would reach 1.618, the length of 3 green. Within wave C blue, at 1394, wave 3 pink in its entirety would reach 4.236, the length of wave 1 pink. So we have a one point target zone for a bit more upwards movement which should be reached during Monday's session. After that we should expect downwards movement, choppy, overlapping, probably somewhat time consuming for a fourth wave correction which can't move back into wave one price territory. At that stage in the short to mid term our wave count will be invalidated with movement below 1343.98. And after the fourth wave is complete, we'll expect again upwards movement to complete this whole structure for two black. At 1399, wave C blue would reach 0.618, the length of A blue. So although our wave count was invalidated at the daily chart level during Friday's session, and the last couple of days have seen strong upwards movement, I do still think this is a second wave correction. It's choppy and overlapping in comparison to the prior large downwards movement which was very clearly impulsive and also at this stage it has a cursory count of 7 
which is corrective. Second waves can and often do correct to really deep degrees and when they turn out to be very deep they convince us right before third wave in the opposite direction takes off that we're going to see new highs. I think that's what's probably happening here. That's all for me today with your SP analysis and I hope that members are all having a fabulous weekend.